This Synthize tutorial demonstrates how to use the zoom filtering script to handle a shot that has a short zooming segment right in the middle of the shot. So I'm going to open it up and just use our default uh, settings for it. If I scrub through the shot you'll see that the lens is staying fixed and it zooms out a bit a little while zooms back in. Okay, and that's what we're going to handle specially. So we're going to mark that uh, we've got a zoom lens and then fire up the uh, auto tracker. So we're doing the 2D analysis now. This is on a Core Duo iMac, 2 gigahertz. And now we're moving on to the 3D analysis. And now we've got a point cloud here and camera path. See there. Um, there's one car in the back of this that winds up getting picked up. So we're gonna it's just driving by, so we're gonna delete it, switch over and refine the solution a little bit just to get rid of that. So here's our camera path. And if we go over to the object graphs, here you see it in Magenta the rate of change of the lens field of view. And you can see it stays more or less fixed for a while and then it shoots up and hold, then holds constant and then changes back down. But up in this initial section here, there's, there's a bit of variation in it as there's a trade-off between the lens field of view and the position of the camera. It's kind of kind of inherently hard to determine what that is. So it, it contributes some noise that we'd like to get rid of. So what we'll do is say that uh, around here the camera lens starts to change. So we'd like to flatten out this first section. And we'll use that script, the filter lens field of view script, to do that. And just say, okay, I want to start from the uh, beginning of shot to the current frame. Just flatten it out. Now you can see that magenta curve there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. And call up that script again. This time we're going to go from the current frame all the way to the end. And again, we'll flatten it out. We could filter out the middle part a little and flatten out the middle there, but it's a little overkill. Um, so now what we're going to do is say that it's really a known lens. We don't want to change the lens anymore. And we'll go and get to that top view as so you can see this happen. We go and refine the solution again. And as you watch, Right as it finishes up, that curve here, that's the camera path, flattens out. So we've eliminated that trade-off between the lens field of view and the position of the camera. And that's what we're looking for. We could uh, tighten up this middle section here, maybe with some filtering and maybe taking a look at some of the trackers as well.